We're helping the kids to understand this and in a few years we will see how important it is. And also we in the White Paper Day we announced this new joint venture with Torobos Dev that is a educational project focused on developers and they are trying to build a new a new product, a new uh, lightning payment processor that will be focused mainly in uh, coffee producers and they are helping a laser uh, brand here in the country that is Cherito Cafe. You probably already all know and have tasted his coffee, but he's one of the first that is started to take me to attend to the conference. So that's why it makes a lot of sense for Torobos, them and us to try to create this product to make the country brand even stronger because yes, it's a big country, but we can like amplify that message, make it more like clear for everybody. Those are just like tiny efforts that we've been doing because the main uh, characters of this change are the Salvadorian people. And as I said, they are challenged. They are things that have to be improved. We know that uh, we have to make it more easy, more accessible. And we are focusing, as I said, in education. I try to teach people how they can uh, take advantage of this. As part of our ethos, we are focusing on freedom, on granting financial freedom worldwide. And we have this document that is the Freedom Manifesto, where you can see, like, you can read directly our ethos, how we are focusing on building this network of free fighters, of free freedom lovers. And as the Manifesto said, we know that the tools are there because it's one of these tools that we can use to create, to achieve a more freer world. But we have to fight for them not like it is granted just because. So we know that El Salvador is not alone because we are here. You are here like a global community of freedom fighters coming to this country to support what is happening here. <clears throat> and we are like staying here supporting as many projects as we can. It's only two years since the people law came. So if anybody said that this is a failure, don't let them because it's two years. And also, it is not just the El Salvador is failing. We as a community, we have a, a duty here. Like, we have to build the things together with El Salvador people. It's not just like a place where we go and do tourism. It's like we have to help this country to succeed. Because as I said, it's not only El Salvador the one that is going to fail. It's like a Bitcoin community, like Bitcoin failed and it's uh, just uh, a thing that is related to El Salvador. It won't be like that, it will be a global failure, like Bitcoin doesn't work and we know that it works. We know that if we keep working, if we keep building, if we keep teaching people how to use it, it will, will be a law, will allow us to build a brighter future. So rest assured that we as a company will be continue supporting this country and also that we know that we will prevail, that Bitcoin, Bitcoiners will prevail. So thank you very much.